we were talking about um, the presidents today. Uh, my 14 year old sister said, sometimes I look at pictures of JFK and I'm like, dang, I wish he didn't get assassinated. And then later, same day today at dinner, uh, she was talking about uh, receiving a pamphlet from someone and she called it a pamphlet. And we were like, Greta, there's an, there's an F sound in there. And she said, what the fuck? It's called a pamphlet? I'm astounded by her every day. You mean to tell me they're gonna come out with hot chocolate glue and I'm not allowed to fucking eat it? Who's gonna stop me from going to Walmart right now, picking up all that shit and eating it? No one. Okay. Hank Green can't tell me shit. I'm gonna go eat the hot chocolate glue. So we've got uh, one stack of cards right here. I'm gonna take the other stack of cards and make a make a T. Once you make the T, you're gonna want to take another stack of cards, add it to it, and then another T. So you got two T's. We call this game two turkeys. Two turkeys. Here we go. You're gonna have a second deck for drawing. You're gonna want to take the two T's at the top, flip them over, double twos. You know what that means? You gotta show your tits to the bartender. Okay. Now. Two eights. God, this deck was not shuffled. I gotta show my tits again. <laughs> Lucky bartender, for sure. God damn, two nines. I gotta show my tits again. Damn, this guy's getting a show for free. Okay, that's good. That's, that's. That can't be the small. You can't tell me that's small. There's gotta be a mistake. Someone do wet this. Someone change the settings. That can't be small. That can't be small. It's just a bunch of virgins chilling in a hot tub. We can make it none. Bro. What the what hell? Dude, shut up. Hey, Queen. I've had a really good time cleaning out all the empty monster energy cans from your room and watching you download CC for The Sims 4. Uh, but do you think you could loosen my collar a little bit? It's a little, t no, okay. Okay, I'm ready to change my life. I will not do that. Next. I will also not, not be doing that. No. No, impossible. Okay, put a figure down challenge, except everyone that duets this has to use their toes instead. <laughs> put a finger down if, I don't know, you have a foot fetish. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Do you want to see this picture? It's got major MILF energy. What's wrong? It's just, you say this about every picture you show me, and none of them actually have MILF energy. What's the picture? gonna catch you i did not get paid to be a security guard no he's right though because tell me why this is when i worked at my first job at walmart so i was the person who would check the receipts of like customers and shit and we didn't give a fuck about like like if you stole an extra orange we cared about the electronics we only checked like the receipts of like electronics and the walmart i worked at was at a high crime area so on my very first day this lady walks out with a tv she walks out and shows me the receipt i check her receipt the receipt was from three months ago. The manager notices and she's like, stop that lady. The lady runs out into a car that's waiting right outside and she runs out with the TV. I'm just staring at her leaving, right? And my manager's like, why didn't you stop her? Yo, I got so mad. I was like, what the fuck you want me to do? What if she pulls out a gun? Bro, I don't get paid for this. I just check receipts. She wanted me to stop a robbery. Bro, I'm not Batman. The fuck does she want me to do? You don't actually know how electricity works. Like, you might think you do, but you don't. Okay, all you know is you flip switch, room get bright.
That's all you know. I mean, that's all I know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, wires are really just advanced string. I mean, just like string with a little bit of a shock, a little bit of a danger side, a little bit of an awe factor to them if I might even go there. Now, to flip to a completely different page, actually, matter of fact, a completely different fucking book, do you guys ever make so many horrible health decisions in one day that you wake up the next day and feel like you just need an aggressive detox, but not just a simple little detox that you buy on Amazon. I'm talking like stick a fire hose down my throat filled with celery juice and cleanse me to my aura, cleanse me to my soul and just really light up the internal organs. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how I feel right now. Um, but Hey, another day, another dollar. I don't know who made that because I'm broke and I don't know what they're talking about. But hopefully I will soon. Anyways, blueberry muffins from Costco are super cool. You should. Why is mine British and everyone else is American? I didn't set it like this or anything. But the most awkward shit that has ever happened to me, and I don't know why some white people do this, because this shit is for real dangerous. I was at one of my white friends' house, been there for like two hours, and then bro was just like, oh yeah, by the way, my dad doesn't really like black people. But you want to stay for dinner? No! No, I will not be staying for dinner. But then I had to make some bullshit up because his dad just pulled up and was just staring at me like. Well, will you be staying for dinner, DeAndre? Unfortunately, I don't think I will. I've had a splendid time. But my mother wants me home for supper. Oh my god, I'm so excited to watch the Grinch musical. Hello TikTok, welcome to the first installment of a series that I'm going to call Tips from My Mom. My mother is brilliant and she is the most financially literate person I've ever met in my life. I have vivid memories from when I was younger of her grinding as a single mom. I think we lived in a duplex and now she lives in this big ass bougie custom built house. Same story with my grandma, I come from a long line of hustling women. It occurred to me that not everybody had this experience in their life of tips from a mom like that. Here's a job interview tip that my mom taught me. Obviously, do well in your interview. After the interview, go to the store, get a thank you card that is pretty plain on the front, nothing sparkly or cheesy. We're going to tell them that we appreciated the opportunity to interview. We're going to compliment something about their organization. And we're going to mention something that we talked about in their interview. Then end it with a thank you. Mail it to the HR department or whoever you interviewed to. Girl, it looks classy as hell to employers. What's the biggest lie that your parents ever told you? When I was eight years old, uh, The Chronicles of Narnia came out. And my dad told me that Narnia was real and that the entrance to Narnia was in the closet. But he told me that, like, I was the only one that could go into Narnia. Like, he couldn't, but he could, like, watch me go into Narnia. So the only way to get in, you had to, like, run full speed into the wall or else it wouldn't work. So with my little eight-year-old body, I uh, ran full force into the wall in the closet and ran into the wall because there's no such thing as Narnia. And I hit my head so hard I fell on the floor and I blacked out. And when I woke up, uh, my dad told me it wasn't real and he was laughing. And then my parents didn't talk for a couple weeks.